video is about how landforms are made and our lesson goal is to be able to explain the meaning of geomorphic processes because they are the processes that change landforms. So by the end of this short video you're going to be able to explain what the word geomorphic means, you're going to be able to explain what erosion means, deposition, weathering and transport, transportation means, um, you're going to be able to explain what tectonic activity is and with those definitions you're going to be able to explain how landforms are created and changed over time. So let's have a look. Um, the first slide we've got here is what we um, just finished off last lesson. Remember last lesson we had a bit of uh, a shortened lesson because of that plan. Um, and we were trying to work out well how are these landforms um, changed and formed over time. So here we've got a cliff and an arch and we still need to try and think about the theory behind it. When we've got um, movement of landforms um, it's caused by geomorphic processes and this is where natural, trans, uh, natural processes transform the earth to, to create distinctive landscapes and landforms that we've got around us. That picture you can see is the 12 apostles from Victoria. Um, it was it's like it's the reason why it's like that is because of geomorphic processes and they can split up into different sections and that's what I'm going to explain about now. The um, first one is weathering. This is where we have rocks broken down due to the action of weather, chemicals, plant and animal activity. So we've got some pictures there to highlight it. The um, picture on the left um, with the rocks um, that's been broken down because of the weather. Um, sand, um, sand carried by wind has weathered that rock down. Um, the picture in the middle, um, the statue um, which looks like someone's sort of taking sandpaper to it and, and got rid of the, the poor statue's nose, actually has been caused by rain. Rain um, chemically erodes rock. Um, it takes a long period of time um, but basically any acids um, or alkalines react with water um, in rainwater. So rocks are made up of chemicals. When it rains we have a chemical reaction and hence it is weathered. Um, okay so that's what um, that means. Uh, the next picture I'm going to have to highlight slightly above. We've got this rock and there's a big crack in the middle and that's being caused by plants. Uh, plant roots get into these cracks and then obviously um, as they get bigger and stronger split the rock. Animals can do that too by burrowing down. Um, so that's what we mean by weathering. The next um, form um, is erosion and this is whereby soil and rocks are worn away and moved to a new location by agents such as wind, water and ice. So if we look at the wave rock this was created by obviously the wind. Um, the wind's been hitting um, this piece of rock exactly at the same period of time for a long period of time and as a result has created this wave shape. Um, this is a very famous um, horseshoe um, formation, it's a river in America. Um, it's a horseshoe because the river has eroded around this piece of rock. This piece of rock here is very hard. Um, and won't erode, whereas the bit around it where we can still see a river um, is eroding. Eventually that rock will be separated by time. Um, this picture here is all caused by ice, so ice actually erodes big, big chunks of land. Deposition. Once we've got this weather and erosion um, happening, um, the material that's been broken down is moved somewhere else. And where it moves to is what we call deposition. Um, so basically they're relocated to another place again by wind, ice, water as well as um, gravity. Okay so this picture here um, is a lake system um, similar to the one at the entrance and you can see all of these beaches and sandbars being created because the sand has been eroded with a other, where, um, other places and has been moved here. The next one is transportation. So this is the process in which the material is moved and um, 
it can include many different examples. Um, in ice, we um, it can be moved in ice when um, new ice is formed in winter and it picks up material and it will move material downwards. Um, you can see this in this valley here, in this glacier. Um, it's also carried more notably by the river here. So the water in a in a in um, a river or the water in a sea um, will pick up um, material. So that's what we mean by transportation. And a final um, way of how landforms and landscapes are created and changed over time is tecto tectonic activity. So that's the movement from the Earth's plates. Now, when we have these Earth plates move, either by earthquakes or volcanoes, uh, material is made and also destroyed. So as you can see, this volcano here is churning out hundreds, if not tons, of um, ash rock, um, which has come from the centre of the earth. Um, so this is how um, tectonic activity um, creates new land. So there are dual, dual, um, geomorphic processes. What you're going to be doing in the lesson is working on those definitions and then looking at some landforms and landscapes created by those movements. Okay, I hope that's been, um, um, you've understood all those processes, lots of new words. Uh, make sure you make your Cornell notes and you're able to um, explain the lesson. Okay, thanks.